everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a slightly different chit chat video because as you can see, I'm not in my normal location. So it's kind of like a chit chat um, on the move, I guess. A chit chat road trip, so to speak. But I'm actually in Stockport because today I am doing some photos for the Crochet Society box. I do this around once a month, so I come up, have meetings, do photos all of that and then also this weekend i am at yarndale which is the first time i've ever been to yarndale so yeah i'm there and i thought i'd take you along with me if the camera looks slightly strange at the moment it's because i actually forgot to bring my camera with me so i'm on my phone so apologies if the quality isn't quite perfect uh, but yeah i just thought it'd be really fun to bring you along and let you experience a little bit of behind the scenes also as well i was going to sit, sit down and film a chit chat video yesterday but my daughter wasn't very well so i thought this would be the next best thing so just keep watching careful not to give too much away of the boxes so I'm tilting my camera but I wanted to show you these racks so all of these racks here are full of like um, things that you can use like props basically things that you can use in um, photographs and things look at these because these are just so cute all of this fruit and like oh, just look it looks so real these are adorable and then this, how cool is that? And then this champagne, which I actually used on my Instagram for my 600,000 subscribers photo. And we have some croissants, uh, some cupcakes, some bread. It's just so cool. I would love to have a studio like this with all of these props. It would just be amazing. I'm also now just touching up a little bit of makeup, um, ready to do. Uh, photos for the next box we don't normally do two boxes at a time I normally just do one box but um, this time it's worked out that there's been two boxes available to photograph and um, so we're just combining them into one so it's me again so I'm actually back in my hometown I have just nipped into Tesco because I needed to pick up a few things for tea and like a couple of bottles of water and a couple of snacks and things for the train tomorrow so the plan is to get home and see my daughter, just have a little bit of cuddle time to put her to bed and then pack everything ready for tomorrow. So I'm going to call it a night for tonight and I shall see you tomorrow. Hi everyone, so it's currently Saturday and it's Yarndale day and look at this. Oh my goodness! So you might have seen a clip yesterday of us on the train, we had a nice journey and then we just had something to eat at night and now we're here ready to go. Um, it doesn't open for about another 45 minutes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you round and just show you a little bit here and also the Crochet Society stand because this is pretty cool I'm not going to lie. So here's my mother. <laughs> And then we have boxes one, two, and three, which is pretty cool because we've got box one here and then all of the projects from there and then box two and those projects, just look at these jellyfish, they're so cute. And then box three and then these and the unicorn and the mermicorn as well. So yeah, we've got all of these boxes which we're going to be selling today and just really promoting the Crochet Society.
Here's mummy! Tea run! <laughs> People are now starting to arrive! The queue outside was absolutely ginormous because there's like just busloads of people coming but um, it's starting to get a little bit busier now. Um, a few people have come up already which is really really nice. So yeah, so exciting. So I am at the stands and I have some people who would like to say hello. Hi! So who are you? Leah. Look at the <laughs> Everybody, it's actually a few days later now after Yarndale, so sorry that the video has just kind of cut and come here. Basically, Yarndale was amazing. I met so many people. Thank you so so much if you came and came up to me and said hello. It was a super surreal kind of I don't know it was so surreal to me because a lot of the time I'm just sat here in this room creating tutorials and I obviously know that people watch my videos but to actually have people come up to me physical people and tell me that um, they learnt to crochet through my tutorials and wanted photographs and things like that it was just so lovely and I think exactly what I needed to kind of spur me on because I think sometimes with social media the pressure can get to you and I kind of expressed that in one of my posts that I posted on Instagram and Facebook just recently um, so yeah thank you so much if you took the time to come and say hello it it was truly amazing and um, yeah I just I would just was on total high even though that straight after that I got really really poorly with a sickness bug um so yeah that's why this video didn't go up on Sunday apologies for that um I just did not have the energy to edit all the footage or to film this last little section for you so Apologies that this video has run into October. We are now 1st of October. Hopefully this video is going up today for you. Um, yeah, but this is my September chip chat <laughs> in October. Uh, I wanted to finish off by showing you a couple of things that I've been working on. And you might have seen this in the video that, in this video that I had in my bag on the way to uh, Yarndale. So I have started a little bit of something here. Do you have any ideas what it could be? Let me know. I'm not going to spill any beans. <laughs> um, and then I also wanted to show you this. Because this is a shawl that I have um, featured a couple of times in my videos now. It's also been on my Instagram. I'm having a little bit of a love-hate relationship with this shawl. Because... I love it. I love the yarn, which is the Shape Years Whirly Gig. Um, I am getting that gorgeous colour fade now. However, when I went on a spa weekend, um, probably a month or so ago now, I took this with me and it took me about an hour to figure out where I might have gone wrong and I had to frog it back 10 rows. So I think I'm now back on track of where I was or a little bit further along but I'm loving this colour fade and I just still have so much left to do um, but I am making this for my grandma for Christmas so I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get this done in time. It's one of those things which I keep picking up, putting back down, but because you have to follow a pattern, you kind of just have to recap a little bit before you move on to make sure that you're in the right place. But I wanted to show you those because I like to try and show a few of the things that I've been 
working on. Um, I know this was a very different type of video but I hope that you have enjoyed following me along over the last week or so and um, seeing a little bit behind the scenes of what I do for Crochet Society and um, coming with me to Yarndale. So yeah I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. If you are already subscribed then click that bell button because you will be notified of when my new videos go live which is especially good if I don't upload on my normal schedule like this one. But thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!